again. Here we go. That's okay. We are in here together. We're in this thing together. Look at God. We are here together. And so since we're in here together, what we're going to do, we're going to just hang together, talk, enjoy one another. And it's just good to have extended family. I think so. I, I love people. How about that? And I think people love me. Maybe, maybe not. If not, I don't want to hear it. How about that? But anyway, this is going to be incredible. This is sauce. Spaghetti sauce. I have, I have to taste it. Oh, God. That's just like, oh, Jesus. Thank you. That's just like having something wonderful happen to you. It's all on your taste buds. It's all in your brain. It's all in your mind, your heart, and your spirit. You're like, thank God. It tastes so good. Even in a relationship. You got a good relationship. And it's working out. It's good, isn't it? Now listen. I used to be young. I know what it is to have a good relationship and enjoy yourself. You kidding me? Please. Boy, please. You must not know about me. How about that? But anyway, I'm going to make... This is called... Let me put my gloves on. I forgot about my gloves, for God's sake. This is called porcupine meatballs. And it is incredible. My mom used to make this all of the time when we were growing up. She would never throw anything away. Everything had its use. So she would take a little this and take a little that and put it in the refrigerator and use it. Use it the next day or a couple days. And this is called porcupine meatball. It's basically hamburger and it's rice and, you know, different um, things that, you know, kind of spuce it up a little bit. You know, just like a relationship. You just spuce it up a little bit. What you think? Relationship doesn't have to be bland, people, for God's sake. Y'all make me sick with that. And my wife not doing good. Uh, my husband is not treating me right. Well, what are you doing? Huh? Do you spuce it up? Do you put a little rice in it? You know, a little rice. You know, a little bit. You know? A little pepper. Mm -mm. Keep it hot and nice. How about that? No, not you. You just expect for it to happen. It doesn't work that way. The same thing you use to get that man or get that woman, you continue it. Don't throw it away, for God's sake. If it worked then, you don't think it's going to work now? What's wrong with you? Then years pass and everything dry. Nothing in it. No salt, no spice, nothing. Just plain marriage. Then you want to know what happened. I'll tell you what happened. Your guys got boring. Hook it up. Fix it up. Put a little rice in it. Put a little pepper in it. Put a little sauce in it, for God's sake. Huh? Put a little sugar in it. You know, won't hurt nothing, for God's sake. You got the kids, don't you? I'm sure you can get the kids. Just, mm -mm. You know, I know, because I have six. Anybody home? But anyway, this is what we do. We kind of spice this stuff up a little bit, just like life. Life is all what you make it. If you want to make it boring, that's what you got. Boring. Now, if it's too far gone, you know, someone told me, said, nothing is never too far gone. That's not true. Mm -hmm. that's, that's a lie. That's not true. Some things are of no return. Why? Because you allow it to get too far. And when that happens, that's what you get. Totally disappointment, heartbreak, and everything else. But, you know, just put little green peppers in it, spice it up, pepper, the rice, and that the rice hold it together, people. That holds this together. See what I'm saying? God holds things together. If you want him to, if you allow it, if you work on it, it doesn't cost you anything but your time. The same amount of time you have 
with the marriage or the relationship falling apart. It, it took effort for that, right? Well, it takes effort. Like playing a piano. So you hit the wrong key. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Come on now. I've told you I've been in the house a long time. Jesus! But it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We're in this together. I love you much. I'll be back.